Hey friend, before you say yes to another request, you're going to have to listen to this podcast, okay? Deal? Welcome to the Life on Tap podcast, where we help you rediscover your potential so that you feel confident, clear, and independent. Have you inadvertently put yourself last all these years by putting others first, only to wake up in your midlife and find yourself lost in the shuffle? Girl, I have so been there. Let me share with you the lessons I've learned to create a new direction to rediscover yourself. Together, let's go on a journey of mastering your potential, tapping into the power that already exists inside of you. We'll talk confidence, self-care, organization, health and well-being, money mindsets, financial hacks, and how to kick your limiting beliefs to the curb for good. We will find and establish your vision. Get crystal clear on it. This is your blueprint, your life untapped. I'm your host, Francine Rivera, lifestyle consultant and certified health coach. I'm also the founder of the Life Untapped Coaching System, where you can earn as you learn with our affiliate program. Check it out at thelifeuntapped.com and grab our free mini course, The Guilt-Free Balanced Life, while you are there. Are you ready for your blueprint? Let's dig in. If you don't always wonder if you're doing enough or have no trouble setting clear boundaries, save yourself some time right now and stop listening. Like virtual high five, go on with your bad self, you're good. But if you suffer from even occasionally suffering from guilt and in the thought of you're not doing enough or not being enough, and you don't have clear boundaries, keep listening, sister, because I feel you. I swear this is the most common thing overheard from everybody today. Look, I'm guilty of this too. We all have so much on our plate. We've got like balls in the air and we're juggling and like we're afraid one of them's going to fall. Between families, jobs, homes, it's a lot to take care of. Heck, that's not even putting ourselves on the list. But that's a topic for another day because you know I'm passionate about self-care, right? So even adding to this plate is that most females have a hard time saying no when they're asked to do something. I I don't know. We just have this tendency to want to please. Maybe it's just me, but a lot of people I talk to has, you know, we've got this tendency we just want to do for everybody. And uh, for the most part, we think we could just fit it all in. Like it sounds really good it sounds like you could fit it in and then as the date looms closer we're like oh gosh what have I done so (laughs) and then we're ready to pull our hair out in private of course because we don't want anybody to see us crumble so we've got guilt we've got shame (laughs) we've got ego putting up a pretense of not wanting to seem like we can't do it all so not sure if I just described you or not but that was so me I was that girl who just took it all on and I was always inclined to be naturally organized, but I could still be a hot mess at times and I didn't want to let anybody down. Now I have since learned to set up some healthy boundaries. Boundaries are key. Remember, every time you say yes to something, it means something else is going to get a no. If you keep adding, something has to give. Now I'm getting really good at saying no to the things that don't get me to my yes. What I mean by that is you need and what I take my clients through is we go through this whole vision exercise so then we know their priorities and they get crystal clear on their priorities so once you know that now you can reverse engineer how you're going to get there so without knowing that this process is a little bit hard to do but bear with me so what you say yes to can take you away from what you're aiming for your priorities or that step you need to take for your vision. So I became good at saying no to the things that don't get me to my yes, my my vision, my dreams, my plans. So you have to have that clear vision of where you want to go. A story for another show, but I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying do it anyway. So if you find yourself in that situation where you are that one that everybody seems to go to for help, here's some advice. Ready? First, repeat after me. Let me check my schedule and get back to you. Boom, you just gave yourself some time to really think about it, right? Like how freeing is that? You could go home, 
You can think about it. You can look at your calendar, you know, (laughs) toss it around and then get back to them. Ask yourself, does this fit in with the season of life I'm in right now? Is it in alignment with my priorities? Is it in alignment with my vision, my mission statement? If your family has a mission statement or you have a personal mission statement, again, this is something I do with my clients. Only you can answer that. If you have young kids at home, it's different than if you're an empty nester, right? Different seasons of life. Only after you have thought this through do you give that person your answer. And it's okay with saying no without giving a bunch of excuses as to why you said no. I was so guilty of this. In fact, I still have to do this when I say no today. It is like my knee-jerk reaction to say no and then give all the reasons why because I feel guilty. (laughs) But we, we have to get rid of that guilt, right? Like no is a complete sentence. When somebody first told me that, that no is a complete sentence, It was like the angels started to sing. Can you hear? Do you hear it? (laughs) You could say, no, it's a complete sentence. And then it's like, ah. So I can't tell you how hard that was for me in the beginning and yet how freeing it is once you've done it. Know this, my friend. You are not a selfish person for not saying yes to everything that comes your way. You are not a bad person mom for not volunteering to the PTA. You are not a bad neighbor for not volunteering to be involved on the HOA or serve on the board. Busyness is often seen as a badge of honor. If you aren't busy, it's almost implied that you're lazy. That's the problem. That I think is a big underlying problem. So you're going to want to sit down for this one coming at you next. The busier you are doesn't make you more valuable. Ouch. Right? Busier does not make you more worthy, okay? And it does not, when you're the not busy, does not make you lazy, my friend. Take a deep breath. Let's get our priorities in order. Let's get crystal clear on our vision and where we're going. Because if we don't know where we're going, somebody else is going to fill up our time and our path with their priorities, not our priorities. We weren't made to be always running around and stressed. You are important, valuable, and enough. You are worth it. Thanks so much for listening. But before you go, if you found value in today's show, I would love it if you would take a screenshot of this episode and share it with others on social media. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and head on over to iTunes or wherever you listen to rate and leave a review. It is how we can empower, educate, and shift how others visualize their lives. Until next time, my friend, remember to live a life untapped. You are worth it.